Working at the lower trim panel above the pedal cluster, remove the three T20 torque screws as indicated by the green arrows. Once you remove the torque screws, pull the corner of the trim panel out of the center console, then pull down and away from the pedal cluster. Lower the trim panel enough to access the electrical connectors, green arrows. Disconnect the speaker and footwell light electrical connectors by pulling them straight out. Next, you will have to disconnect the electrical connectors at the opposite side of the trim panel. Starting with the fiber optic programming connection, press the release tab and pull the electrical connector off, green arrow. Then disconnect the antenna connection located a little further back on the trim panel. To disconnect it, press the release tab while pulling the cable off the module, green arrow. Now that you have removed the trim panel, it's time to start taking the clutch pedal assembly apart. First, you will have to remove the clutch pedal return spring. As indicated by the green arrow, I like to grab it with a pair of diagonal pliers and disconnect it from the clutch pedal. However, it's a light spring, so you can use your fingers if you prefer. Working at the clutch pedal assembly, disconnect the clutch pedal return spring using diagonal pliers, green arrows. Grab the spring and slide it out of the hole in the clutch pedal. Next, you have to remove the retaining clip from the clutch pedal shaft, as indicated by the green arrow. Use a flathead screwdriver, release the clip in the area of the yellow arrow, and remove the clutch pedal shaft. The yellow arrow shows the clip removed and where you lever it to open it to remove it. Once you lever this spot, slide the clip off the clutch pedal pivot. Working at the top of the clutch master cylinder, green arrow, remove the two 10mm fasteners. This photo shows the nuts that are held in place by the bracket. Loosen the bolts from the opposite side of the clutch master cylinder. Once you get the bolts about halfway out, you will have to hold the nuts with an open end wrench. Next, remove the clutch pedal from the vehicle by sliding off the shaft. Be gentle and careful not to damage connections at the clutch master cylinder. The clutch pedal will stay up near the pedal cluster during the bushing replacement. Remove the clutch pedal bushing from the clutch pedal and replace with a new one. Slide the new inner bushing, green arrow, on first, then apply a small amount of anti-friction grease, then slide the clutch pedal back onto the shaft. Apply a small amount of anti-friction grease to the outer bushing, then slide the outer bushing onto the pedal pivot once the pedal is on the shaft. Be sure the clip is properly installed as shown in the picture, green arrow. Install and tighten the clutch master cylinder fasteners. Install the clutch pedal spring and check clutch pedal function. Now that you have removed the trim panel, you will have to disconnect the clutch switch electrical connector. It is located on the fender side of the clutch switch. Grab the electrical connector, green arrow, and pull it straight out of the clutch switch. To remove the clutch switch from the clutch master cylinder, Grab the top of the switch near where the electrical connector is and pull it away from the clutch master cylinder. This will unclip the switch and release it from the clutch master cylinder. To install the new switch, slide the rear of the switch into the clutch master cylinder, then press the area near the electrical connection into the clutch master cylinder. The switch will snap into place. Once installed, connect the electrical connector and reassemble the trim panel. Check that the clutch switch is functioning properly by starting your vehicle and you are done. Thanks for watching. Click here to view the original article along with hundreds of other DIY content for your car.